with Smart24 and this is Financial Markets with me, Julius and Subaga, and this is where we give you the best of business broadcasting. And it's a Monday and where we're going to be having a very wonderful time and a very wonderful week looking at what is trending in the world of finance, of banking, the stock market and the forex. And of course, it's with me, Julius and Subaga and my colleague, Marcelino, that comes up from 10 to 11 and then probably we proceed from 11 up to 1 having a deeper insight in the stock market performances and probably trying to explore what the markets are basically uh, being um, how they're running and how they are indeed being affected by world events and we all know that the russia ukraine war is uh, basically has been the headline and today we're going to be seeing what exactly is happening in the world of the stock market as a result of the war and of course other forces other market forces of demand and supply always into play uh, and also affecting uh, finance and business and also the stock market all across the globe. So join me as we basically now kick off with what is happening in the economy of Uganda. And it is very much important to understand that we basically have to have uh, a deeper insight of the economy for us to make very good investment and business decisions at all times. Behind the numbers, are really real things happening and so the economy is among the things probably that we have to look at and well let's now turn over there join me as we basically have an insight in the uh, in the economy in the local uh, stock market east african stock market and also what's happening all across the globe all right then so let's just uh, get started with uh, Uganda's economic indicators, and uh, this is by Trading Economics. This is the World Bank, actually. So, having a look at uh, some of the key economic indicators, just right here with me, is uh, having a look at the labor market. The labor market is a very important market because uh, it gives us a glimpse on uh, the population and how its, uh, its workforce is basically being put to use. So right here, as we can see, the unemployment rate in Uganda is at 2.44%, and that has risen, and of course, that, that has risen uh, from 1.8 up to 2.44, uh, just recently reported. And uh, that hasn't much of changed uh, at all, and uh, that was because probably of the COVID-19 pandemic, which basically increased that figure from 1.8 to 2.44. And also looking at the population, well, we are about 45.74. We are about 45.74. That's, that's Uganda's population. And it, it has increased from 43.8 up to 45.74, just like you can see here by trading economics. And that is what it is indicating just right over there probably if you can join me over here to the segment for the segment for uh the segment for for business yes actually it was very important for us to have a look at the business confidence for uganda as we speak right now so the business confidence uh, for uganda as of uh, last month reported uh, well it basically rose from 52.78 up to up to 53.8 which was kind of like a considerable increment in the business confidence uh, business confidence as probably we speak right now so it is indeed something i should say a remarkable uh, a remarkable change right over there that's 53.8 uh, points as we speak right now so if you probably may look, have a look with me here about the internet speed, it is at right now as we speak, uh, 2,353 kilobytes per second. That is the internet speed right now as we speak. So that is uh, basically just a glimpse on what exactly is uh, happening just right over there the, in, in terms of the business confidence. 
and also the the competitiveness, uh, the competitiveness index, of course, is also another very important index to look out for. And right here is indicating that Uganda is at 48.94 points as we speak. And so that is basically a bit of a bit of uh, what is happening just right over there. And also, if you may have a look at Uganda's uh, ease of doing business, it stands at 116 as we speak right now. And that is a very key and important uh, issue to note. So nevertheless, it is very important for us to basically get to know uh, other economic parameters. For example, the interest rate still stands at 6.5%. The column for, the, for money is basically at 6.5%, and that is the central bank rate, the CBR, as we speak right now. So that is the interest rate as of last month. If you may have a look at the, at the loans to private sector, we looked at this and probably right now it hasn't changed. It's basically at 19.696 uh, trillion shillings, just right in the public. And so that is the, that is, that is the loans to the private sector as of January 2022. So this figure increased by a few million dollars, right from a 19.635 trillion and increased to 19.696 trillion as we speak right now. But that is basically the, uh, that is the loans to private sector as of now. If you had a look at the foreign exchange results for Uganda, the foreign exchange re uh, results for Uganda also a bit of reduced from 3,000, uh, from, from actually uh, from $4.3 billion up to $4.1 billion. So that is as of uh, two months ago, the beginning of the year in January 2022. So that's the foreign exchange reserves for Uganda as we speak. But of course, this number keeps on changing and so we hope to get new figures in the next few quarters from Bank of Uganda and probably from other authorized uh, institutions on the loans to private sector, on the foreign exchange reserves that we have. But right now it's 4.1 as we speak. And so to say there is a lot that basically uh, there is so much meaning in there. And of course, if you look closely. So that is the that is it with uh, some of the money news, uh, the interest rates 6.5, the foreign exchange reserves at 4.15, and then the loans to private sector uh, standing at 19.6 trillion shillings. So that is it for uh, some of the economic indicators for Uganda, and that is to say that it is very important to have some of these at your fingertips because you just never know. You just never know what really, um, what, what information you may need at any single point in time. Probably, are you making a business plan, or are you looking into, uh, or are you looking at, uh, at starting a project? These numbers are very key and very important for you to note. Or probably you may be a foreign investor and you want to invest in Uganda. It is very important to note that these figures. Uh, always very key. So now let's have a look at uh, a few other highlights and that we're driving into the stock market news and uh, to start with we are starting with uh, we are starting with uh, the Uganda Securities Exchange market snapshot. Let's have a look at it and probably we can basically gauge where the stock market is standing right now in Uganda. So, so now let's just turn to, to the USE market snapshot. Just recall that uh, this information is uh, basically, it is not as real time as some of the uh, global markets data that comes in, but it is a glimpse on how the day is getting started and probably where it could go. So let's now turn to the USE market snapshot, which is a very important uh, snapshot for us because uh, this is where we get to see the share prices of every company and that really gives us a glimpse of 
how that company is performing and probably uh, how, how, how its stock is indeed um, performing. So right here, as you can see, we have uh, almost about 16 companies listed on the Uganda Securities Exchange and you have nine companies uh, listed, nine Ugandan companies listed on the exchange and all the rest cross-listed from the Nairobi Securities Exchange to the Uganda Securities Exchange. So you have basically uh, half, half uh, Ugandan best companies and the other half is basically, uh, we should say, Kenyan companies. So it is an interesting uh, kind of uh, a trend over here. So right, if you have a look at uh, the Bank of Baroda, Uganda, right here it is trading at a share price of 90. It is trading at a share price of 90. And we can see that uh, Bank of Baroda has been actually at this. Uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's been trading. Its stock has been trading at 90 for quite uh, some time. And uh, that's, that is to say that probably uh, it's been like that. And so you will buy it. If you're to basically buy a share of Bank of Baroda, you will buy it at 90 shillings per share. 90 Ugandan shillings per share. Looking at the British American Tobacco Uganda, it's also been uh, trading at 15,000. It hasn't much of change of late, and thus remaining at 15,000 shillings per share if you were to buy a piece of British American Tobacco Uganda. Turning to Centum Investment Company Limited, it is also another cross-listed company from Nairobi, and uh, it is trading at a share price of 439 Point six zero uh, shillings per share as we uh, speak right now. So, so Centum is, is, is another company that is listed uh, uh, on the Nairobi Securities Exchange and also cross-listed on the Uganda Securities Exchange. That is uh, Centum Investment Company Limited. Now, if you look at also the CIPLA Quality Chemical Industries, it's also been uh, listed for quite a while and also been trading at 90 shillings per share for some time right now so the number also hasn't much of changed and also if you look at uh, dfcu dfcu limited which is development finance company of uganda it is trading at 564 shillings per share as we speak right now so it also shows here that uh, it hasn't much of change and so if you basically have a look at uh, at uh, some of these uh, share prices. They haven't much of change, but uh, of course, the stock market, anything can happen. And somehow, as you begin the day, you may not end the day the same way you started it. Now, looking at the East African Breweries uh, Limited, it is trading at a share price of 4,903.83 shillings per share. And that has been uh, East African Breweries Limited. And basically, it's showing here that probably uh, it's been trading at that for the last few moments. Now, if you look at Equity Bank, Equity Bank Limited also is trading at a share price of 1,618.74. And uh, thus, uh, and probably you may say that uh, it's also not been volatile of late. So not much change, so to say. If you look at KCB Group, KCB Group is trading at a share price of 1,418.78 shillings per share. And uh, right now, as we can see also, as of late, we haven't seen uh, much of a change. Uh, it is still remaining at 1,418.78. So that is KCB Group right over here. Remember, I'm using this, uh, the USE, Uganda Securities Exchange market snapshot. So this is, uh, there's also Kenya Airways. Kenya Airways is trading at a share price of 121.56. And that is uh, Kenya Airways, also cross-listed from the Nairobi Securities Exchange uh, on the Uganda Securities Exchange as well. So it's right here trading at 121.56 uh, shillings per share. MTN Uganda. Well, MTN Uganda share price stands at 180. 0.67. Many of you have, have bought uh, shares since uh, MTN went public uh, last end of last year, and we can see that its stock right now, as per this morning, is being indicated to basically 
be down to have reduced by about 0.37 percent and that is as per the Uganda Securities Exchange market snapshot just this morning. So you have MTN stock down uh, losing by about 0.37 but let's see how the day goes and probably tomorrow we can see maybe another number or probably an increase or a decrease an overall but to get an overall uh, view of how it has performed probably the closing time could be a very important one later in the evening so now if you have a look at uh, the national insurance corporation also trading at a share price of 5.10 percent uh, 5.10 uh, shillings per share and that is a national insurance corporation nation media group is trading at a share price of 634.80 and basically it's showing here that nothing of late has changed as well so that's still trading at 634.80 if you may turn with me to new vision printing and publishing company limited it's been having some bit of issues here and there but nevertheless it's being indicated here on the market snapshot for Uganda Securities Exchange and we can say that it is trading at a share price of 160 shillings as we speak right now and of course you have also Uganda uh, Uganda clays if we may basically go down you have also Uganda clays and uh, basically and the like and probably stand big bank so my colleague Shakira could help me actually just uh, hit it down as we continue to explore these companies. So uh, when you have a look at uh, basically these uh, companies over here, you have Stan Big Bank, uh, you know, its share price is, uh, is showing that it is up by 1.92% as we speak, as per the uh, market snapshot from Uganda Securities Exchange. So that is uh, where it is standing right now. However, it is trading at a share price of 26 shillings on average. And uh, thus, we wait to see what happens later on in the day. So this is only a market snapshot. And it's showing here that Stanbic Bank stock is up by 1.92%. So we wait and see what happens by the close of the day. You have Uganda Clays as well. You have Uganda Clays Limited over here trading at a share price of 22.01 uh, shillings. And Uganda Clays was the first company to be listed on the Uganda Securities Exchange in 2000. So you have also Umeme Limited trading at a share price of 174.86 shillings per share. And that is Umeme for you. So it's also cross listed uh, to on the Nairobi Securities Exchange, Umeme and probably its share price of late has not been so much um, well there's not much activity to it of late but we've been seeing it like on friday as we saw its shares were basically down and we, we may say it was losing so that is uh, it with uh, a few uh, a few uh, updates here and there on uganda stock market remember there are also other uh, there are other stock markets like Altex. You can also have a look at that uh, later on. But uh, this is just a glimpse of basically what's happening in Uganda's stock market. So that is it for the stock market. So allow, allow me now to basically take you to another very much important uh, segment of the stock market and thus we shall be also looking at the Nairobi Securities Exchange and basically what's happening and this is by CNBC giving us very good live updates on the performance of the Nairobi Securities Exchange and it is very important to note that uh, it is really a volatile market right there in Nairobi and I think uh, it, it really shows very good signs of uh, progress and also growth moving forward so let's have a look at the let's have a look at the Nairobi Securities Exchange the next uh, page let's look at the Nairobi Securities Exchange uh, by CNBC and how it's basically performing just right over there probably we actually may have to go and see what really is, uh, is happening right over there. So th this is the very good, uh, this is the very good uh, picture of what's happening just right there. 
in uh, Nairobi. So if let's have a look at this. Yes, yeah, so Nairobi Securities Exchange has over 60 companies listed. And uh, well, you have, you have about, say, 40% volatile uh, companies, and probably you have the other 60% a bit. Uh, well, not much of a change on them as of late. So if we may basically have a look at uh, much, much more, uh, let's have a look at, uh, so if probably we may actually get to this other side, these are the codes right over here. I want to just have a look at the, I want to have a look at the real names of the companies. Yes, so just right over here. So if you may look at this, this is uh, basically, um, well, there are over 60 companies and we have uh, Kengen, uh, Kengen a company also listed on the Nairobi Securities Exchange. It is up by 0.26% and thus uh, indicating a change or probably an upward movement of 0.01 points, bringing it to 3.79 Kenyan shillings per share. That is Kengen also listed on the Nairobi Securities Exchange. And you have Kenya Power as well. Kenya Power also has been cross-listed for a long time uh, with, on the NSE. And right now we can see that its shares are down by 1.27%. That is Kenya Power. So Kenya Power's uh, stock is down by 1.27%. And that is an equivalent of uh, 0 0.02 points uh, lost. And that's bringing it to 1.55 uh, shillings per share. Safaricom is also another very, very uh, important company listed right here. And uh, it's one of those companies in Kenya that are icons. Probably we may say this is an African uh, brand. And you can over, uh, see over here that uh, its uh, share price is now down by 0.56%. And that is an equivalent of losing about 0 0.20 points, bringing it to 35.30 shillings per share. That is Safaricom, trading at 35.3. It's down right now by 0.56%. Uchumi, while many of us here are not really, uh, don't see Uchumi around anymore, it is still operational in Kenya. And you can see here that Uchumi supermarket is also listed on the Nairobi Securities Exchange. And you have its share price up by 4.76%. And that is uh, being an equivalent of 0.01 points added onto its share price, bringing it to 0.22 Kenyan shillings per share. That is quite an impressive performance from Uchumi. So we, we can see so far today's big gainer is basically Uchumi with about 4.76% gain. Yes, that is quite something in its... Uh, in the value of its share price, so which I think is very much important to also note over there. So what, what, what does this tell you basically as an investor or uh, as an analyst? So Scan Group, uh, Scan Group is also a company listed on the Nairobi Securities Exchange. It's also down, it's indicating here that its share price is down by 0.25% and thus an equivalent of losing 0 0.01 points, bringing it to four shillings per share. So I want to look at uh, Kenya Commercial Bank. Kenya Commercial Bank, which is basically KCB. Uh, we have KCB Group also here, listed on the Uganda Securities Exchange. And right here, we can see that it is also listed originally on the Nairobi Securities Exchange. So its stock is indicating that it is up by 1.79%, thus uh, being an equivalent of about uh, gaining 0 0.80 points, bringing it to 45.50 uh, shillings per share. This is Kenyan shillings per share. So the Kenyan, the Kenyan Commercial Bank is up by 1.79% and also trading at 45.50 Kenyan shillings per share. Now, if you have a look at uh, if you have a look at the cooperative bank, also right here, it's up by 0.78 percent, 
and that is an equivalent of an additional 0 0.10 points on the share price, bringing it to 12.95 uh, Kenyan shillings per share, and that is cooperative bank. You have East African cables. East African cables uh, is also up by 3.15%. And it's our biggest gainer. It's our second biggest gainer after uh, Uchumi Supermarket. And this is basically, it's up by 3.15%, which is, and Uchumi is at 4 over 4.1%. 4 and that is quite something. And so that means that probably here you have 3.15% uh, uh, that is being an equivalent of gaining about 0 0.22 uh, points, bringing it to about seven point bring it to i beg your pardon east african cables is basically nothing has been traded uh, no change at all and it's trading at 1.07 uh, kenyan shillings per uh, per share now right here is british american tobacco british american tobacco is up by 3.15 percent and it's our second biggest gainer after Uchumi Supermarket so far. And so you have it, uh, actually, you have an additional 0 0.22 points on the share price, and thus bringing it to about 7.20 Kenyan shillings per share if you were to buy a piece of British American tobacco, uh, Kenya. So if you have a look at here, if you have a look at uh, Absurd Bank, Absurd Bank, here it's, being, uh, it's indicated that uh, it's basically up right now by 1.65 percent that's an equivalent uh, of 0 0.20 points bringing it to 12.3 uh, shillings per share kenyan shillings per share that is absurd bank as we speak right now so its share price is up by 1.65 percent if you have a look at uh, other companies like nation media group nation media group is also post listed on the Uganda it is exchange and right now you can see here that it is down by 1.84 percent that being an equivalent of losing about 0.35 points of its share price bringing it to 18.70 uh, kenyan shillings per share now if you also have a look at other uh, companies like home africa and housing finance nothing much is happening on their share prices so w we must say it's uh, no trading going on over there, so thus n nothing is basically changing on their share prices. So if you have a look at Home Africa, at, uh, it's basically trading at 0 0.38 shillings per share. And also uh, Housing Finance Bank is Housing Finance Bank is also at, uh, trading at 3.45 shillings, 10 shillings per share. If you may actually also turn with me over here, EverReady East Africa. EverReady East Africa is also listed on the, on the Nairobi Securities Exchange. And now you, you see that its share price is basically up by 3.49%. That is the EverReady East Africa. Its share price is up by 3.49%, that being an equivalent of a gain of 0 0.03 points, bringing it to 0. 35 uh, 0.89 shillings per share that is ever ready iron m bank iron m bank we have it also here in uganda is also operating in uganda and probably you have it uh, you have a share price uh, nothing much is happening on this share price thus it is at 20.80 uh, shillings per share as per cnbc now if you have a look at equity bank kenya Equity Bank Kenya is right now its share price is up by 0.49%, and thus an additional points of 0.25, bringing it to 51.50 Kenyan shillings per share. Umeme. So Umeme today is it's quite interesting. The story is different, and we can see Umeme here. Uh, its share price is up by 5.02%. That is quite something commendable, and that is an equivalent of an additional 0 0.32 uh, points on the share price, bringing it to uh, 6.70 shillings, Kenyan shillings per, sh per share. So that is, so it makes it our biggest so far, uh, our biggest gainer so far after Uchumi 
and uh, also um, after Wuchumi and all the other companies. So it's basically so far our best performer. Let's see what happens to Centrum Investments. It's also nothing much is happening over there. Now CIC Insurance, actually we should conclude that it is the biggest gainer so far by and thus it is being represented by a 7.84% gain in the share price that is being represented by about gain of 0.16 points and thus bringing it to 2.20 uh, Kenyan shillings per share. So CIC Insurance, we can close it and say, is our biggest gainer this morning and then probably you have Umeme and you have Uchumi and all the others following. So that is it with the CIC Insurance. And so if you have a look at TPS Serena, TPS Serena is basically its share price is down by 0.85%, thus bringing it, uh, that, that's an equivalent of, uh, lo of losing about 0.10 points and bringing it to 11.60 Kenyan shillings per share. BK Group is down by 4.6% and that is uh, an equivalent of losing 1.35 uh, points, bringing it to 28. 28 Kenyan shillings per share. Now, Capturua is a, well, Capturua here is a, is a place, it's a district, but right here, it is indeed a company listed on the Nairobi Securities Exchange, and it is trading at a share price of 98 shillings per share. Nothing much has happened to its uh, share price. So no change at all, indicating no buying, no selling on, as of late. So having a look at also Bat Kenya, uh, Bat Kenya down by uh, 0.2 percent and that is an equivalent of a one percent uh, um, a one point gain thus bring it to 490 shillings 10 shillings per share now you look at uh, other companies like Kakuzi not much change on the share price of late and so you have it at, at, uh, at a price of uh, its share price stands at 415.00 Diamond Ken uh, Diamond Ken also nothing much has happened to, this, uh, to the share price, so it is trading at 56.00 uh, shillings per share. Now you have also Limuru Tea. Limuru Tea is also nothing much has changed on its share price as of late, and thus uh, it is trading at 320 Kenyan shillings per share. Sassini is also trading at 19.75 shillings per share. Nothing much has changed. We are looking at Kenyan companies over here that are listed on the Nairobi Securities Exchange and we're trying to see how they are performing in terms of their share price. So when you look at uh, G. Williamson, also at 130, trading at 130 shillings per share, nothing much has changed of late as well. So you have also Kagenken, Kagenken also at 61.25 uh, Kenyan shillings per share and also is uh, nothing much has changed on its share price of late. National Bank of Kenya is also trading at a share price of 4.12 uh, Kenyan shillings per share and also not, nothing much of late has changed. Standard Bank trading at 100, uh, 100 Kenyan shillings per share and we can see here that indeed there is nothing much of late. Decons, the same story, trading at 0.45 Kenyan shillings per share. Express gain at 4 shillings per share. And Kenya Airways, Kenya Airways is trading at 2.15 shillings per share, nothing much of, of late, according to CNBC. So Longhorn, Longhorn, some of us have seen Longhorn, and uh, well, it's also a company and a brand. So we can see over here that probably nothing much has changed of late, also in its share price, so thus still remaining at 3.70 shillings per share. NBV, NBV over here is uh, also a company listed, and nothing much has changed. It's trading at a share price of 4.61 Kenyan shillings per share. Standard Group at 13.40 Kenyan shillings per share. And Athi River um, also at 5.55 Kenyan shillings per share. Bamburi, nothing much has changed as well. 37.15 Kenyan shillings. Crown Burger also at 36.00 Kenyan shillings per share. And also East African Port, uh, Port Sem also at 6.00. We uh, can shillings per share. Jubilee Holdings, Jubilee Holdings, nothing much has changed of late. 
on a share price, no buying or selling. So thus remaining at 275 shillings per share. And if you have a look at CFC insurance as well, you can see that, uh, well, nothing much has changed as well. 6.86 Kenyan shillings per share. And also here you can see Pan, uh, Pan, Af Pan African insurance. You can see here that also nothing much has changed. It's at a share price of 12.75%. As 12.75 Kenyan shillings per share. Now, if you have a look at Brit uh, East African breweries, Limited here, nothing much has changed of late. Also trading at a share price of uh, 153.00 Kenyan shillings per share. Now, Flame Tree Group, Flame Tree Group is uh, trading at 1.24%, 1.24 Kenyan shillings per share. And nothing much has changed on its share price of late. Then, Ken Orchids also 10.40 Kenyan shillings per share. Nothing much has changed as well of late. And uh, you have Momia's Sugar Company. Its share price is at 0 0.28 Kenyan shillings per share. Nothing much has changed. So for Hari also is uh, at 5.92%. 5.92 Kenyan shillings per share. Nothing much has changed. New gold as well. Uh, we can say also nothing much has changed. It's trading a share price of 2,075.00. So that is basically a glimpse of what the Narabi Securities Exchange is basically all about right now as we speak. And so it is very much important to note that uh, these figures are changing all the time, so these may not be real time. However, they give us a glimpse on how the day has started for many of these companies. And of course, as we saw for Uganda, we, we only had one gainer. Here we have actually quite a number of them, and uh, yes, so it's, 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 it's a much more volatile market here in Kenya, in uh, Nairobi, so we can see that uh, there is indeed very, very much to basically explore with the Nairobi Securities Exchange. So, so that is it with uh, Nairobi. Let's just have a look at uh, now at uh, Rwanda, because uh, yes, Rwanda is also another market. We haven't, we haven't actually have a, had a look at uh, the Rwandan market because uh, we didn't have the data, but now we have it, and probably we can have a look at uh, Rwanda as well, the Rwanda Stock Exchange. So let's, let, let's now have a look at the next page and look at uh, how Rwanda is faring in terms of its uh, stock market. It's very important to note that uh, these are very, very important numbers to keep, uh, to keep yourself abreast of the share prices because the share price is the most important thing. Let's now turn to the next page. Rwanda, the Rwanda Stock Exchange. Let's now turn to other news, uh, Rwanda. My colleague Shakira can help me do that as we turn to Rwanda. All right, so yes, just before we get into these numbers over here, let's first go for a very short commercial break. Probably we're going to be right back. Thank you.